welcome or welcome back to my channel Megan Chan Vlogs where I talk about fitness, travel and dogs. Today as you can tell by the title of the video is a packing video. I'm excited, I'm excited. So I'm getting the train to Luton in a couple of hours, still need to have lunch anyway. So I'm flying with my friend Tony to Macedonia tomorrow. So we're going to Macedonia, Kosovo, Albania and Montenegro. So we're going to be away for two weeks altogether. I'm going hand luggage only, which I've done before. However, this time I have a little suitcase. So this guy is the Cabin Max Anode. It's 55 by 40 by 20 because that is Ryanair size. We're not going with Ryanair, but I'm wanting to use it for a trip after this Ryanair. And it's the first time I've gone like hand luggage journey for a long period of time with a little suitcase. So we'll see how that goes. All my stuff is in. I thought there was going to be more space than there is, but there's not because it's me. So I'm going to talk you through all the different bits that I'm using. So I've got my 40 litre carry on. I've got my personal item, oh my word, this is heavy. My personal item, which is my PackSafe Go 25 litres. I've done a full like review of this, which I'll post in the comments below. Same with this one. And then I'm also taking a fanny pack. So I'm taking the PackSafe Go, I don't know what it's called, like the fanny pack. I've also done a full review of that. So I will also post that in the description box below. So I'm gonna go through all the different things that I've packed. I've already got them packed so I know they fit. The case is a little bit bulgy, but it's a hard one, so it's fine. And yeah, so I'll just show you what I've packed. So let's get into this case. <laughs> Okay, so this suitcase has two sides, as you can see. So in this side, I have my clothes. And in this side, I have stuff that isn't my clothes, really. So everything I have is in packing cubes because that's how I roll. So my clothes packing cubes are Eagle Creek. So they are the Eagle Creek isolates i think they're called but they're the clean dirty ones so it's got one side for clean clothes and one side for dirty clothes so that i'm not laundry takes up so much space so this is so that i'm not having to take up space with laundry so i've got three packing cubes of clothes so i've got my bottoms my tops and my underwear starting with underwear in this package i have nine pairs of pants i have one pair of period pants so i'm not Hopefully, won't be on my period in this trip, which is lovely. But I've got one pair of period pants in here because I'm just like at the end of my period. Sorry, it's TMI, it happens. I've actually filmed a video today on traveling with your period. So hopefully I can link that below if that's all gone well. I have two tops in here as well that are like bra built-in vest tops. So I've got one white one and one black one of that. I've also got one bikini, so it's a bikini I took to America last year. I've not tried it on since, I've weighed a bit less, so if anything it's going to be a bit too big. And then I also have my pyjamas in here, so these are from H&M, and they're just like tight fitting pyjamas, so I'm not flashing in one at the hostel. I have one pair of socks that I want to tell you about, so these are from the brand Smartwool and they are merino socks. So the idea of these merino socks is they stay like smell free for longer. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to wear these on more than one day, which will be good. It sounds, that sounds a bit minging, but that's like what they're made for. And then also in here I have two, they're not like sports bra sports bras, they're like little crop tops that I use for running. So that's all the underwear I'm taking. I then have a bottoms cube. So in here, I have a pair of black LA gear trousers. So they're like slightly sporty trousers and they have zipped pockets. We love some zipped pockets. They have zipped pockets, which are beautiful. I also have a pair of what I call hostel trousers. So they're just really, really lightweight trousers that I can put over my pajamas when I'm walking in the hostel. I also have my nice outfit. So this is a jumpsuit that I got off ASOS, I think. It falls down to nothing. I don't have to wear a bra with it and it just looks really nice. And then I also have one more pair of trousers that I'm taking with me that are my cargo trousers that are like in this bit because they're in like the ridges where the, the handle is on the bag. Shorts wise, I have a pair of green shorts with nice pockets in from Next. I also have a pair of LA gear shorts. So they're like the trousers, but 
their shorts and they've got zipped pockets as well so i will be using those and a pair of i think they're nike pro shorts just tight shorts so i'll be wearing those for running with two of the tops that i've got in my tops bag then moving on to tops so i mentioned i've got two running tops um they're just vest tops that i've got for running in that i will wear with my shorts I've also got a blue crop top, which I think I'm going to wear underneath my traveling outfit. I've then got a nicer like purple vest. And then I've got two t-shirts. So I've got a merino t-shirt, which hopefully I can wear multiple times again. And then just like a blue detailed t-shirt. And then I have one long sleeve top in this packing cube. So I've got a merino long sleeve top in this packing cube as well. And then traveling clothes wise. So I've got some black sweaty Betty leggings that I'll be wearing a white pair of socks with. And I think I'm gonna wear the crop top under a long sleeved merino top. And then I've got a merino zip up that's got zipped pockets. You see a theme, I like merino, I like zipped pockets. That's what we're going for. And then I've also got a fold up coat, which is here. So I can just put that on if I'm cold. I have got a waterproof jacket as well. So that's what I'll be traveling in. So that's why I've not got the black leggings packed here. Next on this side of the bag, I've got my little sleep pouch. So I've done a separate video on this, but essentially I have a sleep pouch that I have for by my bed in hostels. So it just has everything that I need to sleep with. So it has an eye mask, it has earplugs, it has earphones for listening to um, YouTube. I've got a little jewellery pouch for putting all my jewellery in. I've got a phone charger and then I've also got a little bag that I put like it folds out that I put all of this stuff into like in the hostel so I can attach it to my bed. Then next <laughs> so this is just this is a bag of tea. I am from Yorkshire so I take Yorkshire tea with me when I go traveling so I've got Yorkshire tea biscuit brew Yorkshire tea and bedtime brew Yorkshire tea in here because these are the main teas that I drink. If I want sort of any herbally teas as I go along, I know they sell them in the Balkans, so I can pick them up along the way. Along with the tea, actually, in this side, I've got coffee. So I cannot, de it's in a dry bag to try and keep the smell out of everything else, but I can already smell it, but I cannot deal with not having proper coffee in the morning. So this is, I got, it goes with a first aid kit. I got two first aid kits in one pack. So I got this idea from Cara and Nate. It's a collapsible pour over. So, it, the smell of coffee, it's a collapsible pour over. So you have a pour over, have the filter paper, put the coffee in, job is a good one. So that means I can have proper coffee on the go. Like sometimes hostels provide you with coffee. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it is atrocious. Sometimes it's instant coffee, which is just horrendous. So I always take this with me to make sure that I have proper coffee because I have a caffeine addiction and I need proper coffee to be able to focus in life. And then the last thing in the clothes side is I've got an electronics bag. So this is in a waterproof case so that the electronics don't get wet if I have any spillages. The case itself is from a brand called Tatonka. I got this from a backpack shop in Dusseldorf, I think in Germany. So it's padded and then you open it up and it's got like a main area here for electronics and then a bit for cables. So what I have in here I'm not gonna go through all the different chargers I have. I have a lot of different chargers. And then I've got an extension cable. So this plugs in, like it works like an extension cable. You plug it in one socket in the hostel, it extends, it's got loads of English plugs and USBs. I've got a EU USB. And then I've also got an international, like worldwide universal adapter. And then in here, I've just got all my different charging cables, which aren't very interesting. And then I have an Apple AirTag. So I have this and I keep it in my cabin bag so that if I'm keeping my bag in the hostel or if my cabin bag has to be put in the hold because there's too many, I can track where it is. I've also got this little box that's holding my memory card adapter in, but I'm gonna use it to put SIM cards in because I've got my little pokey outy thingies to remove my SIM card from my phone so that I can put local sims in to get data. Because the issue is with the places where we're going, they're not in the EU. So like any sim cards for the EU don't cover those countries. But they use euros, but they're not in the EU, which I'm confused about. But yeah, so I'm just gonna get local sims. So that's what I have in here. Then in this bag, it's got like a, like a little zippy bit in the divider. 
So in here, you will have seen, if you've seen a packing video before, you will have seen this. I chat about this a lot. This is a Finding Nemo bag. How cool is that? So this I got in an Asian shop in Vancouver and I use this in hostels to take my stuff to the shower so that it doesn't get wet if you have to put it on the floor. This is a really flat handbag. So it's a pack safe one. So it's like anti-theft type thing. And it's just nicer on an evening out instead of taking your fanny pack. The um, straps are slash proof. You can tuck your zip in to make it like harder to open. So that's just for nicer nice out. We're taking a lot of buses in the Balkans that have trains. So I've got all my bus tickets in here because they need to be printed. I've got spare like debit card, credit card in here and things like photocopies of my passport, passport photos, things like that in case you don't, you don't want all your cards in one place in case you're robbed. I then have food bags and um, disposable face masks. And then in here, this is like my favourite bag. I have my travel journal. So I'm hoping to do travel journaling as I go along again. So I'm just sticking in bits and pieces that I pick up along the way is the plan with that. And then in the other side, I have this pouch has a waterproof cover for me. It has a fold out waterproof backpack that's completely waterproof. Like it's, if it's torrential downpour, nothing will get into it. And then I've also got a fold out tote bag as well, which I think will be really handy for like when we pick up food, we're moving between hostels. This cube is just full of, ran you know when you just have your random cube. So I'll go through this one. Quite a few bits in here. Don't know how I got the zip done. Anyway, this is a floaty stick for my GoPro. It won't fit in the electronics cube. It's for attaching to my GoPro if I'm in the seat, well, the seat, that there's a lake, Lake Orrid. In case I drop it, it floats to the surface so I don't lose my GoPro. This is to separate out my whites. So when I take it to the laundrette, I'm going to put all my white stuff in here because I've got quite a lot of white clothes, which isn't very practical, but there we go. I have got one reusable face mask. When I went to the Balkans this time last year, they weren't wearing face masks. So I presume we won't need to, but just in case. A resistance band. I use this to do my physio so that my legs don't fall apart with me running. I have a variety of padlocks for lockers. So I've got like bendy ones. I've got stiff ones. I've got a big one in here as well. Also got a carabiner. I have, this is like a little head torch, which can come in useful. I've also got a pegless washing line. So if we wash our clothes and hang them out to dry, you just put the, the clothes in the twists of the washing line and it takes up like no space. I have a collapsible lunch box. This is really, really useful to have if you're making like double portions at hostel, if you're taking lunch out with you. This little guy is gonna be what I'm taking my laundry to the laundrette in. So it folds up really small, it's from Ikea. And then I have oh, a couple of vomit bags, you never know. And then I've got, this is from PackSafe as well. So this is like a waistband thing, waist belt. So I can put my phone in here, my hostel card in here. Oh, I meant to say with the Apple AirTag, my, obviously it only works on Apple products. I've got like my mom, my sister, my friends are on Android. So I've got the tile, which is the same as the Apple AirTag, but for Android. So I'm taking, like when I go out and runs on my own, I take like that tile with me so people know where I am. Okay, then continuing on, I have my wash bag. So this is a new one that I've picked up from Amazon because it, it is huge. Considering I'm going hand luggage only, this is a huge wash bag. It's his first outing, we'll see how he does. But it's got lots of space in here. So in my wash bag, I have shampoo bar. I never take real shampoo with me. It works as shampoo and conditioner. I have the Eco Warrior one. It's the one that I've used for years, really enjoy it. I've got my armpit razor and I've got my leg razor. I've got a little like manicure set. These scissors are small enough to take in hand luggage. I've never had an issue. Hopefully they won't be taken off me. Just really handy to have. I've got my tangle teaser. It's got flamingos on it. And I've got a hairbrush as well. I've got electrolyte tablets for if I go out for a run or if it's, I don't think it's meant to be hot, but in case it is hot. I've got my vitamins here. So I've got two weeks worth of vitamins, like multivitamins, vitamin D, omega-3, B12, things like that. And then in here, so I've got my leg razor in here. I've got bobbles and hair clips. And then I've got a face halo. So it's a little bit dirty because I've used it, but you just use water and it's good for taking makeup off. I don't really wear that much makeup like at all. But when I do, it's nice to have something to take it off with. And then I've also got floss, toothbrush, and my pill. And then in the back, I've this is like a separate like dry section. I've just got some makeup. So I've got 
blusher. No, what have I got? Highlighter, contour, and blusher, apparently. And then the brush to put it with. Obviously, quite a lot of my toiletries are missing from there. I've got a liquids bag. So, in here, I have facial wash, leave in conditioner, deodorant, bite stick, eyebrow brush out thing, hydrocortisone cream, um, a cyclovir. So, I sometimes get cold sores, and a cyclovir is hard to get abroad. Toothpaste. What is this? Shower gel. Um, a glue stick, sometimes they're fine with glue sticks, sometimes they take them off you. Mascara, cuticle oil, this is a bit precious but I've had my gel nails done and apparently cuticle oil helps them stick. Mini pseudocrem and a mini sun cream so once we go through security I can take this and put it in here. I've also got like three different inhalers in here so some of them I've like emptied out and just put like the, like the, just the like canister in here to save space but it's, um, yeah it's classed as a liquid so it needs to go in my liquid bag. And then, so I'm taking three pairs of shoes. I've got my A6 Cumulus 23, I think they are. Might just my road running shoes that I'm going to be wearing. I've got my Havanas in a shower cap, and I've got my Tevas, and they're in a shower cap. Really comfy shoes. Flip flops are a must for hostels, and I just really like these Tevas. They're waterproof, really comfy to walk long distances in. And then in the suitcase here, it's like where the handle is. So I've like laid stuff sort of like in between like where the handle is. So I've got my trusty Dock and Bay towel. It's a sand free towel. So you just shake it and the sand comes off. Controversially, I'm actually bringing a second towel this time. So I'm bringing, this is still technically microfiber, but it's like a lot more fluffy because the issue I have with microfiber towels is that they like dry themselves really well but they just don't dry me very well so i've got a fluffier one mom's like made it a bit smaller so it fits a bit better we shall see how this works and then the last pair of trousers i've got um are cargo trousers so these are a different color to the ones in the try on video because i've got a darker color because it's more practical for me for so i'm just a bit of a lucky pup if i'm honest so that is everything that's in my suitcase so moving on to my personal item so Oh, it's so heavy it's really heavy because one i've got a 1.2 liter water bottle on here so i've got like a water bottle holder attachment like my mom sewed it on for me because these pockets do not hold my water bottle because it's too big so i've got that i've got uh, just a waterproof cover for the bag in case it rains i've got a charger like universal adapter thing for charging stuff on the go and then I've got a little electronics bag like within my personal item as well. And this is just stuff that I need like day to day, like on the go, instead of going into my big suitcase. I'm sorry if the angle's changed slightly. For some reason, my camera stopped recording and I was like, if it stopped, I'm not recording the whole thing. I have no time to do it because a little bit behind as it is, I haven't had lunch yet. Anyway, and then in this pit, I've got a replacement battery for, oh my word, my foot keeps cramping. <sighs> This is such a situation I'm having at the moment. My feet just keep, and my legs just keep cramping all the time. I have enough salt and I take electrolytes after running. I think it's just my circulation's really bad. Anyway, we're gonna crack on. Uh, replacement battery for my camera, replacement battery for my GoPro, AirPods, portable charger, always take a portable charger when you're traveling so that you've got phone battery anytime you need it. And then my external hard drive. So that's all in there. And then I put it in this, little case says it's waterproof but it doesn't feel waterproof to me so i'm putting it in a dry bag as well because i just i don't want to run the risk of like my hard drive getting wet or my airpods getting wet so then i have got my laptop and my ipad so i'm doing my dissertation i'm doing a master's in sports medicine and the dissertation is during the 17th of august i want to hand it at the beginning of june i've got a lot of work to do so my laptop's coming with me then I've got my GoPro, so this is the GoPro Hero 11 that I'm querying using as like my daily vlogging camera because it's just so much smaller. So we shall see with that, we shall see. I've got a collapsible coffee mug as well. So if we're having like coffee on the go, I don't, I haven't brought this before, but I just thought I'd bring it. Little coffee cup on the go. I've then got like tissues and wet wipes, obviously. Obviously you need that. Little stand for my laptop my first aid kit so i will link below a video that i've done on my first aid kit that goes into like more detail it's just a, like less than a minute short but i've got things like paracetamol plasters antidiarrhoeas things like that and then also in here i have this bag of like random stuff so it's 
I've got Percy Pigs because you can't go travelling without Percy Pigs. And like little nibbly nibblies. So I've got Haribo, chickpeas, um, Percy Pigs. And then I've got some gloves, like small merino gloves. And then a merino buff as well in case I get cold. I've got chewing gum, I've got a naked bar, I've got a fruit bar. And then I've also got like emergency pads and tampons because I'm not taking any period stuff with me. I shouldn't have a period when I'm away. But you just never know like the impact travel has on like your menstrual cycle so i've got some emergencies just in case you know just in case and then i've got a little moomin on here and then in this zippy bit i've got my sunglasses i've got my reading glasses well my seeing glasses like my eyes are getting worse i can't i was helping being a medic yesterday and i couldn't see the number on people's jerseys anyway this is kevin he's a carrot he folds out he's a do you know one of those reusable bags? It's from Aldi. And then I've got a fold out picnic rug if we are going to picnic anywhere. And then I've got the um, hostel padlock on here as well. And then, and I'm just getting a bit close for this. My final bit of baggage is my fanny pack. So it's a pack safe one again. I've clipped on a anti back gel onto the front. I realise I'll need to take this off because it's a liquid, but it's just got a little hook thing here. So I thought it was handy for that. And then in here, I have my purse. This is like ARFID blocking and everything like that. So I've got in here my driving license as a second form of ID. I've got my YHA card because we're staying in some hosteling international hostels and you can get money off with YHA. And then I've got my train tickets. For some reason, I have paper train tickets for going down to London today. I've got some English money and some euros. And then I've got my student card. I've got my e-hit card. Oh, my debit card. I thought that was my IKEA card then. <laughs> my debit card. That makes more sense. And then in this fanny pack, there's no, there's only one compartment and I like having stuff a bit separate. So I've just got this bag from Muji, like the little pouch from Muji to attach. So in here, I've got a really short cable for charging my phone. So if I've got my power bank in here, I don't want my two meter cable also in here. I've got my rape alarm. So loud noise coming, but this is the noise it makes. It'll work fine so if i'm anywhere dodgy especially if i'm on my own i'll have this on me and then i also have some lip balm as well i'm really bad at using lip balm which is a shame because i get dry lips but i'm just bad at using it and then in here i've got a fold-up vomit bag you never know you never know and then i've got a straw so this is a reusable straw it comes in a little oh that noise it comes in a little little pouch and whoop, telescopes out like that and i do have there's a random spring in here i do have the cleaner for it as well because i can imagine this will get pretty grimy after a while so that's it for the little pouch bit and then always what i carry in my fanny pack so i've got a pen a biro they're really useful i've got a marker so i normally have a sharpie but for some reason i've got a big one and then i've got a spoon and a fork so i can eat on the go and then in the arfid blocking pocket I have my passport. I'm travelling abroad. <laughs> That's all I'm packing. It all fits. It's a little bit of a squash, actually. When I was like packing in preparation for this, it wasn't a squash, so I just think I need to sort of like reorganise everything. Thank you very much for watching. The next vlogs will be around the Balkans, hopefully. Um, so I will see you in the next one.